That was my old ship which was driven ashore by the wind. Here we are on Papaya Island, but there is something mysterious here. Tell me your story, why you are actually a skeleton captain. We will sail with this ship tomorrow and rescue the crew of this island from the skeleton crew. To thank you again for your help. Without you, revenge would never have been possible. No problem Captain Shover, but what is that over there? I believe that was my old ship San Marino. A storm crashed it against the island back then. You really had a big ship. Not bad. Thank you, Octo. But now we need to find the entrance to the ship, or don't you want to go in? Of course, I want to check out your old ship. Maybe we'll find some loot. Okay, then climb up the ladder. Take a look around, but don't take too long. We want to get to Papaya Island today, after all. Aye aye, Captain Shover. I found a sword. Is it yours? If it's lying here, then of course. Oh, okay. I'll just take everything here then. Otherwise, no one else will probably take it. Is that okay? Grab everything you can. Or do you want to go or not? Of course not. Then don't ask such stupid questions. Sorry Captain Shover. No problem but hurry up now. I've found some kind of warehouse. Come here. Yes, that was our old storage cabin, but actually the ovens were over there. Interesting. Here were the sleepy in quarters for my crew. They actually remain well preserved. Come over here. I have something to tell you. This room used to be our own ship library. Here, we could choose any kind of books and read them for free. Of course, it cost a lot of money. I could have really used something like that too. Reading a little bit doesn't hurt. All right, let's continue then. We don't want to arrive too late in the evening. All right, but I have one more thing for you. Take this sword. I found it twice. Actually, I don't say thank you, but okay. Captain, what is that over there? That is one of the ships from Papaya Island. If you can see them, we are almost there. Really? I'm already really excited, Captain Shover. Oh, I already know all of this. It's not anything special for me anymore. Before I died, I was the captain here. So there we are. On Papaya Island, it's so beautiful here. So, our mission is not over yet. We first need to get to the captain's cabin to talk to him and convince him to let us live again. Until now, everyone has been afraid of an old skeleton. Follow me. I would also be afraid if a skeleton suddenly appeared on this island. Yes, I'm not surprised either. But that's what I've been wondering the whole time, Captain Shovel. Why are you a skeleton in the first place? You should be dead. Long story, this is not the right time. Oh god, aren't you Rob? Don't be afraid, I'm Captain Shover. Do you remember? Captain Shover? You are back? I thought you were dead. Long story, but we'll tell you another time. We have to go. Oh, look, 
the mafia gang is chilling here. Hey Captain Shava, can you be our captain again? The new captain is angry with us because we stole someone's golden caramel pudding. You deserve it. The golden caramel pudding is sacred. Shame on you. Captain Shava has changed a lot. Just ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. I didn't intend to not ignore them either. Okay, that's good. Over here, behind the iron fence, is the captain's hut. He rules over Papaya Island. Now we need to somehow get in here. Come to the gate. Ah, hello, do you remember me? What kind of skeleton are you? Are you one of the skeleton crew? Go away from me. Yes, as I said, they don't remember me anymore. At least most of them. Well, let's go inside. Oh, how are we going to get in now? I don't have the key. We should ask some of the pirates where a key for the door is. Good idea. Wait, what is this? There's a sign hanging here. It says, to enter, we must ask Sir Franklin. Maybe he has the key. Let's check it out. I still remember where he lives. However, he was always quite particular with me and found me arrogant. Why should he then give us the key? I'm sure I can convince him somehow to give us the key. After all, it's been 25 years since we last saw each other. Maybe you get along better now. Maybe. So here is his observation tower, where he spends almost all day. Let's greet him. I think he's up here. Oh, Franklin, old friend, how are you? Who are you? One of the skeleton crew? Don't you remember me? I'm Captain Shover. We need the key to the captain's cabin to talk to the captain. I'm really glad to see you again, but you were always pretty arrogant to me. Oh well, just take the key. I don't care anymore. It's nice for you that you found me arrogant. Right now, no one really cares about you anyway. Let's quickly get out of here, otherwise he might steal the key from us again. I will tell the captain about this. The captain will probably not care about that at first. So now we have the key to the captain's cabin, so let's talk to the captain. Captain Shover, we should hurry. It's getting dark on Papaya Island. Don't worry, we'll make it. So, here we are. Let's go inside. Someone wants to enter the captain's cabin without permission. Who do you think you are, that you can beat me up? There will be consequences for that my friend. But Captain Shover, do you remember where the captain's seat is in this building? Because this building is pretty huge. Yes of course. I was the captain here. Hello? Captain? Who are you? Go away goofy skeleton. Do you not remember? I'm Captain Shover, I was infected with the skeleton curse. Oh, it's you. Your uniform hasn't changed. What do you want here? I was just about to eat my fried fish with onions. We just wanted to ask if we can both return to the crew. Oh, by the way. He saved me from my grave, so? I'm glad to see you again. We were planning to sail to the skeleton island tomorrow evening anyway, and if you want, you can be the captain. Feel free to take weapons from the chests, and if you want, that mining mole over there can also come along. Perfect thank you Capitaine. I'm Capitaine under Rabid. Oh I'm sorry. I forgot that after 25 years. We will meet tomorrow at sunset at the ship Talora. We should equip ourselves well and take everything from the crates. Pirates like to plunder. I think we have everything, so let's just keep going. It's already late. Hen let's take a look at our ship. Somehow, I really feel like having a juicy caramel pudding now. This is not the right time for that now. Let's go back for now, but tell me, how did you survive while your crew did not? When you set foot on Skeleton Island, you will be cursed by a certain magical stone. But never mind, I'll go ahead to the ship now. Alright, I'm a bit afraid that the Mafia gang is right behind me, but never mind. This island already looks really gigantic at night. Has Captain Shover already walked ahead? Well, I'll go to Talora at the dock now.
Ah, Octo. There you are already. Here's our ship for tomorrow. Captain Under Rabbit will probably give us the key right here. Let's see what else we can do until tomorrow. Alright, I'll already look for a house where we can stay overnight. There's probably an empty one somewhere. But wait, come back for a moment. Look at this magnificent boat. It's gigantic, isn't it? Yes, it's very gigantic, but we really need to sleep now, otherwise we won't get anything out of tomorrow anymore. Ah, look here, I found an empty house. Then let's go to bed now. Already, buddy. Who's ringing the doorbell like a bandit? I'm really tired. Who is that, Captain? Oh no, it's the boss of these mafia fools, with his strongest fighter. We have to escape quickly. Oh no, let's climb through here. We should hurry. Attention, they're coming. We'll get you, you fools. You will regret how you treated my mafia. We should jump over the trees and reach the mountains. You go down below and I'll intercept them from below. Your time has come to die. Joey will be the winner. They're right behind you, Captain Shover. I'll build us a path through the leaves of the trees. You also think you can escape from me and Joey, you stupid mining mole. We'll see who will escape from whom here. This mafia called Punchline Mafia is not to be taken lightly. They are ready to do anything to eliminate their enemies, so be careful what you say. I'm not afraid of them. Well, I have an idea. We should run to the bridge and fight them there. It's very dangerous, but it's the only chance we have to defeat them. Okay, but where is the bridge? Just go along the mountain and then down to the waterfall. I almost got you, you noob. No one messes with the Punchline Mafia. Oh no, Captain Shover. The Punchline Mafia is right behind me. Octo, jump into the waterfall. We'll meet on the bridge. I'm here, Captain Shover. Here I come. You made it this far? Now it's my turn to strike. Wait, what? How? No. And I will give you the rest Joey. Ha 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 ha. Joey has been taken care of. Now there's only the Mafia boss left. So, here I am. You dare to mess with us? You will regret it when you face the Mafia boss personally. Try to throw him down. After you, Captain Shover. No, I jumped beside you. No. Don't worry, I've got him. Nice job. Let's go back. Good job. They deserve these goofy dusty musties. Now the Mafia gang probably has no leader anymore. Let's look for an old friend of ours. He is a fortune teller. Maybe he could tell us something about our trip to the Skeleton Island. That's a good idea. I'm curious to know what he thinks will happen. Actually, he has always been right so far. But sometimes it could happen that he is wrong. Be careful not to fly off the handle here. It could get really bloody. I am not a little mining mole anymore. This bridge looks really dangerous to me. She was, indeed, when we fought here. Without her, we would have certainly lost. Wait, what is that tower? Let me take a look inside. Hurry up though. Got it. There wasn't anything in here anyway. Let's keep going. Where is your friend's house, anyway? We just have to climb a staircase through a mountain and the house is at the top of the mountain. Ah, so here then? Yes, we are almost at the top. Ah, a guard. Don't look him in the eyes, otherwise he will become aggressive quickly. So, we are now standing right in front of his house. 
it's important that you behave respectfully towards him. Otherwise, he won't tell us everything for free. He should be up here. Oh, hi Wilia. I'm back. Captain Chava, you're back? But, how? I got the skeleton curse and my ship was sunk. But Octo pulled me out of my grave. Without him, I wouldn't be here. Oh, okay. And what brings you to me? Why we came to you? Because we wanted to take revenge on the skeleton crew and sail to the island. But we are wondering what will happen there on the island, and we wanted you to tell us the future of us. Well, usually I always demand some gold, but since you're back, I'll do it for free. Come, let's go downstairs. Let me activate my brain for a moment. According to my prediction, you will sail to the island, you will enter the island and... Oh, there is no sign of life from either of you. Wait, let me try to filter the reason. It's not working. Somehow, the entire process of predicting has been aborted. What happened there? Lair. I'm sure we can do it. Come on, Octo, let's go, and you dare to ask for money again for such trash. Don't listen to him. I told you he's lying. We will make it. Come, let's go eat something before the sun goes down. Sure, Captain. Our skeleton ship that sank was reportedly destroyed by Captain Shuffer. We must take him out once and for all. Destroy his home island and set everything on fur. I want him to suffer. Let's go, my skeleton admirals. This island belongs us. So Octo, it's getting late slowly. We just wait for Captain Under Rabbit and then he'll give us the keys to the ship. Wait, what's that siren? It's coming from the other side of Papaya Island. Come on, let's go check it out quickly. Why is the siren ringing us? We are probably being attacked. So let's not just stand around, but let's help. Okay, the siren came from approximately across the bridge, so let's hurry. Captain Shover, something is exploding here, we need to be careful. Oh no, I think Papaya Island was really attacked. Captain Shover, look back there, there's someone there. Oh no, there are the skeleton admirals. They set everything on fire. Captain Shover, they're destroying your homeland, we must do something. Come quickly, let's sneak up on them. Oh my god, they're kidnapping Captain Underrabbit. So, Octo, Captain Underrabbit dropped the book. Let's quietly retrieve it. Oh no, run, the skeleton has seen us. I have the book. Good job. Now quickly back to our boat, we'll read it there. This skeleton is from the skeleton crew. Into the water with you.
So, retrieve the book and let's read its message. Captain Shover, you are the only one who can still save me and my pirates. They want to take us to Skeleton Island. Please help us. Captain Ender Rabbit. Oh no, we need to rescue Captain Under Rabbit. Let's go get the key from his office. I'm afraid, Captain Shover. You don't need to be, we can do this. All right, I'm unlocking the door with a lock now. Oh, who are you? Ah, uh, I'm one of the residents here on Papyre Island. I was scared and took refuge here. Can I come with you? Yes, okay, come with us. We want to get on the boat and rescue Captain Under Rabbit. We need the key for that, so come with us. We're going upstairs. Thank you very much. No problem. We need all the help we can get. So, where is the key here? Ah, here it is. Come on, let's hurry. We need to get to the ship quickly before the entire town burns down. Together, we will defeat the skeleton crew. This is our island, and no skeleton should set foot here, except for you, Captain Shover. Yes, exactly. By the way, what is your name? Oh, I see. My name is Roy. I am a weaponsmith for our pirates here. Ah, understood. Alright then, let's go to the ship, Roy and Octo. Get on the boat, but quickly. What a big boat. We will see you again, Papaya Island. There once was a ship that put to sea And the name of the ship was the Belly of Tea The winds blew hard, her bow dip down Oh blow me, bully boys blow Soon may the wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go She had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Before the boat had hit the water the whale's tail came up and caught her I'll head to the side harpoon and fought her when she dived down low Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go